and welcome to the Kavisa 5 minute videos. In these short videos, we will demonstrate different aspects of the Kavisa Vidya in a Box product. First, some background. Kavisa Vidya in a Box reduces the cost of virtual desktop by about a fourth by eliminating the expensive infrastructure components that VDI traditionally requires. With Kavisa, you don't need expensive shared storage or multiple management components. Simply load the Kavisa virtual appliance on a, any commodity server running a hypervisor and you have a virtual desktop server. You can run multiple of these servers in a Kavisa grid which automatically load balances itself and provides high availability. In this demonstration, we're going to show you a grid with three Kavisa servers and we're going to show you how easy and intuitive Kavisa's management is and to demonstrate that, we're going to actually set up new desktops and provision them and then log in as a user and show you how a user can access multiple virtual desktops easily with Kavisa. Now, to log in as an administrator, we simply point our browser to one of the machines in the grid and we log in with our credentials. When we log in, we see a, a view that is grid-wide. To manage Kavisa, you simply man provision desktops across the grid and Kavisa automatically distributes that load across the servers. In this view, we see that we have four different types of desktop images set up within Kavisa and we have nine users that are actively using the grid currently. We also see a capacity meter that shows us that 50% of the entire grid capacity is currently in use. Now, let's go ahead and see how easy it is to provision desktops on the Kavisa grid. Say we have five new accountants that joined our company. We're going to simply add five to our number of desktops. When we do that, we're going to see these desktops starting on the grid. As you can see, two desktops have already started. Let's actually switch to the server view and show you how Kavisa automatically provisions these desktops across the servers in the grid. As you can see, by the time we switched views, three desktops have already started on the grid and now four, and two of those desktops have started on Alpha 7 and only one each on Alpha 1 and Alpha 3. You can also see on the server capacity bar that the capacity of all three servers, the load on all three servers is roughly the same. It's between 57 to 67 percent. Kavisa automatically does this load balancing for us. We see that of our five desktops, three have gotten provisioned on Alpha 7 and only one on Alpha 1 and Alpha 3 each. Now that we have these new desktops, let's go ahead and see which users can access that counting desktop. Now we're going to go in and connect users to these new desktops that we've provisioned. To assign desktops to users in Kavisa is very simple. All you have to do is connect Kavisa to your Active Directory or LDAP server and you can use the groups and user settings in your uh, Active Directory and simply assign desktop templates to those users and groups. If you notice here, we have assigned the accounting desktop template to the accounting group and the payroll desktop template to the payroll group. Let's now log in a user that belongs to both groups to show you how users can easily access multiple virtual desktops with Kavisa. So we're going to go in and log in as Andrew, who belongs to both the accounting and the payroll department. As you can see, when we type in Andrew, it shows us two different desktops that Andrew can connect to. Let's go ahead and connect to the Windows 7 desktop, the payroll desktop, just to show you the Windows 7 experience. So when Andrew connects, you see his Windows 7 Enterprise desktop comes up very quickly. This is a live demonstration and Andrew gets logged in. It's that simple. Andrew could switch to his XP desktop just as easily. As you saw in this demonstration, we showed you how intuitive and easy Kavisa's management is. You manage the entire grid as if it were one logical entity. We showed you how simple it is to provision desktops. It's as easy as just typing in the number of desktops you want. We also showed you how Kavisa automatically load balances these desktops across the grid. We then logged in as a user and showed you how users can access multiple virtual desktops very simply and easily. To try this for yourself, go ahead and download a free trial from www.kavisa.com. Thank you.